Oh, that last video got cut off, so I'm going to try to put these together uh, as one video, but it might be part one, part two. Because <laughs> um, I forgot to put my phone on airplane mode. Um, anyway, so I was talking about how this Mars and Scorpio aligning or coinciding rather with um, Venus, Jupiter on the galactic center, a new moon in Sagittarius and Mars opposing Uranus in Taurus. Um, is just really stirring the pot and Sagittarius is the archetype of alchemy it's the divine alchemist so we're all really getting our all of that deep dark psychic material which we call the negredo in alchemy it can be the insoluble problem it can be that which is on repeat that's actually what we work on in my project 40s we pick one of those insoluble problems or themes and work on it relentlessly for 40 days and 40 nights. But we're all in some kind of a limbic right now where we have to look at the negredo, meaning looking at your own darkness, looking at your shadows, looking at your deepest, darkest secrets and wounds and anything that lowers your frequency, your vibration. I know it sounds so cliche, especially since I'm <laughs> saying that in the vortex, but actually it's not cliche since I'm in the vortex. I'm all about the energy right now and it's real. I mean, being in these vortex powers has really revealed to me how when, and I feel it's when I'm around my guru Amma too, it's like when you're around a force field of high frequency, it will dredge up anything unlike itself and bring it to the surface. And so Sagittarius is a little bit like that in itself. And also Venus, Jupiter on the galactic center, the galactic center is one of those pull everything up from the deepest core of course and even in Vedic astrology as I had mentioned in the new moon video Venus and Jupiter are aligning on the uh, the nakshatra or the lunar mansion of Mula which is the root so bringing the secrets the darkness the untruth to the light we can see that in our politics in a very disturbing way right now we can see it in our own personal lives we can see it in our own, our dreams, our relationships, all of that. So it's a really essential moment to, in time rather, before we get to 2020 to use the courage of Mars and Scorpio to go into those, to have those conversations that you have been afraid to have because they might feel like they're gonna stir things up or they're gonna be too provocative or confrontational to take action on things that you were terrified of doing, um, to really understand what empowers you and what motivates you and what causes power struggles in your life or competition, making competition conscious because Mars in its own sign and Scorpio is very strong so it can help us use that competitive Mars energy in a way that's healing because Scorpio at its highest is very regenerative it's very transformational. It allows us to go into the heart of darkness and death and come out the other side and have that powerful rebirth, regeneration, Phoenix rising from the flames. So it's essential right now that we activate, is the word that's coming to me for Mars and Scorpio, activate that courage to really like the tower archetype, which is Mars, to really break through long-standing patterns of stagnation and um, long-standing patterns of fear and lack of courage so this is the time to really um, and if you haven't been physical if you've been lazy you'll get a lot more physical energy now you'll notice it'll be a lot easier to be confrontational um, or assertive in a healthy way the healthy that's where the divine masculine is so supportive for us why i'm like taking in this energy because it helps us to have boundaries helps us to be assertive you see there's not as much shadow in the masculine approach to things um because it's more out in the open it's like i'm openly competitive and this is what i want and i can set this boundary and it doesn't get all convoluted and confusing because there's no problem with being direct and out in the open so this is really essential during this Mars and Scorpio time. So I just want to make sure I got that and hopefully I can combine the two videos, but if not, this is part two. And thank you so much for watching and I send you all the beautiful healing vortex energy of Warrior Rock.
in Boynton Canyon, Arizona, Sedona.